Now, the weather has made a huge difference in wildfires, with some still lingering on. But a few weeks ago, I'm sure you remember, the smoke was so bad, not only on the ground, but from the air as well. MTN's Kenneth Webb with fresh news tonight. He flies with a private pilot who's been working in some of the thick smoke and the challenges he faced. Every summer we end up flying in the smoke. Um, Montana's notorious for having forest fires, so when smoke rolls in, we still have, to, still have to fly. There are a couple of things a pilot has to watch out for when flying through the smoke. We have TFRs that pop up, so temporary flight restrictions. They ensure airspace is uh, separate for the air tankers and aerial firefighting operations. As general aviation, we don't enter those. We leave that airspace specifically for firefighting. Uh, we also have reduced visibility where if you look out today, you can't see the horizon. And with lots of smoke in the air, you can't see the horizon. So we lose a lot of visual reference. With the smoke, it's hard to tell north, south, east from west when you can't see the Bridgers or the Gallatins. But now that the smoke's cleared, you have a much better, much better view and situational awareness. Pilots especially have to pay close attention to the pre-flight checklist and maintenance. Pre-flight is, is much more essential when you're flying in smoke uh, for several reasons. One is because of the wear and tear on the airplane, but also because when you can't see very far, if you do have a problem, it's much more serious. When we fly in smoke, we also have to take into account special considerations for the engine. Uh, all the ash on the propellers, all the ash in the air filters going into the engine, and uh, ultimately it's some sort of abrasion on the wings and on the airframe. Thankful the weather has cooperated, especially for the folks that are flying these small aircrafts, better for their maintenance and flight planning. Reporting from Bozeman Yellowstone International Airport, Kenneth Webb, MTN News.